Okay, for part A, I have a solution of zinc nitrate, which is essentially a solution of zinc 2 plus ions for this purpose. Uh, and I have a copper metal strip. We're going to see what happens when I put the metal and the zinc ions together in the beaker. I also have copper 2 nitrate and zinc metal strip, and we're going to see what happens when I put the zinc metal in the copper 2 plus ions that come from the copper nitrate solution. Okay, so let's put the copper strip in the zinc ions and we'll put the zinc strip in the copper and looks like something is happening to one of them and not so much the other. So we can see the copper metal, still copper shine there. No reaction with the zinc ions, but we do see that there is a reaction between the surface zinc atoms and the copper ions that were in solution. And the copper ions are actually taking zinc's electrons and precipitating out is the copper metal on top of the zinc surface. If I leave this in here long enough, eventually the blue color will go away as I have removed all of the copper ions from the solution. What we have seen here is a result of the activity difference between the zinc and copper. So basically when we talk about a metal's activity, we are referring to how much it wants electrons. Copper wants electrons so much more than zinc does. So if copper two plus gets around zinc metal, the copper two plus will just take zinc's electrons. And that makes the copper precipitate out as the metal, the zinc goes into solution. So copper is more, or copper is less active. Zinc is more active because it tends to react.